Hello everyone, this is Scott from DailyExition.com. Today we'll be looking at CCleaner uh, 5.0.3. This is the latest version of CCleaner, and as you can see, it's had a huge redesign change. It looks a lot better than it used to be. It actually looks fairly decent, and it has quite a few changes as far as the cleaning up tools and how efficient it used to be. In the past, CCleaner was definitely not the tool of choice for me because it didn't really do much outside of the cleaner and registry, but its tools have actually made it fairly useful. And with the new design, it's got a nice tile look to it that actually looks appealing and something that I'd want to use. For the sake of simplicity and to save time, I'm not going to bother doing a full scan, but I'm going to briefly show you all the settings and the options that you have for at least my computer currently. I can clear any of the files in Internet Explorer. Windows Explorer items that can clear, clean out recent documents, the runs type, basically your common run commands. Explorer, MURIs, uh, thumbnail cache, if you have uninstalled or reinstalled or installed a ton of new programs fairly recently, the thumbnail cache will help clean them up because instead of loading that entire cache when your computer starts up, it'll, re it'll reload the cache the next time your computer works and only the most recent thumbnails will be loaded into the cache. This should, in theory, improve the load time or at least reduce the amount of time that it spins drawing each of the programs. And then network passwords can be needed. I never recommend deleting those. For your system, you can empty your recycle bin, which is typically something that you should do on your own, but most people don't. You can get rid of temporary files, clipboards, memory dumps, CH disk uh, file fragments, and Windows log. You, you can delete desktop shortcuts as well as start menu shortcuts. This is a new feature. You typically didn't see this with the previous versions of CCleaner was the desktop shortcuts as well as start menu shortcuts. Um, typically you may not want to use like start menu shortcuts. It's got one program, Hotspot Shield, which is no longer in use. So I'd run the cleaner on it. Click OK. And whoops, no, cancel this. No. So it went through and it apparently did everything, but I'm going to show you now the desktop shortcuts. I'm going to have it analyze, and it found nothing. Let's look in the DNS cache. You can look per on, an, on, on a per item basis. Tell clean mat. So this one says that it's found this. So I can tell to right click and clean. Click OK, and now it's cleared up my Windows reporting. So you don't have to do every item every time. Just avoid hitting the run cleaner, which I thought would was a little bit more functional than I, and it should be, but it doesn't really work the way it should, and it kind of annoys me. It'll also now clean out Windows apps that you get in Windows 8 and maybe Windows 10. I have yet to test it in a Windows 10 environment, but my, but I'm under the impression that it will work properly. It will also clear out basic applications, whether it's Adobe, GIMP, Handbrake, a bunch of other programs, and other items that store files in your uh, other that uh, store temporary files in Windows. It can also scan for registry items, whether they're obsolete files, software, so let's see what it finds. So I got a lot of application path issues, mostly because I was trying to open a broken file with the Kingsoft's office, so I'm not going to back it up and I'm going to have them fix all the selection. Typically though, whenever my problem with CCleaner was, is whenever I had to go through and actually delete, I'd have to do it several times, but as we see now, it's never it doesn't do that much anymore. Back in previous versions of CCleaner, whenever I wanted to run and delete a registry item, I would have to check it two to three more times before it actually deleted. It seems that this one's actually finally fixed that issue. The uninstall is ba is truly ba no different than in any other uninstaller. It's basically Windows and doesn't really do much outside of that. It's a really poor uninstaller. I recommend... I apologize for that interruption. It was something running on my browser. It was an advertisement. Go figure. <sighs> but as we can see, it, there apparently are a lot of uh, programs. So I'm actually going to have it go through and I'm going to have it check. So it says AdWare is installed, which I don't believe. So I'm going to have it go through and it says the Windows uninstaller. Preparing to remove. AdWare should not be installed on my computer. I don't remember how it's getting this information. So we'll actually see if it's there. Sometimes it may cause it to freeze, in which case we're just going to cancel it. But any files that really show up here, 
typically should be installed. Sometimes if they don't install properly, they may remain. So that can be an issue that's addressed later. The startup actually is probably one of the better features that I've seen with this, and it's probably one of the best ones you're going to get. You have CCleaner, it allows you to choose and turn off or enable certain programs on your startup. For instance, it launches my Logitech, uh, my antivirus, and some other Windows junk. And actually, I don't even know how that's there. Okay, so that's not even there anymore, but we'll move past that. System cannot find the specified file. Okay. So the Internet Explorer, Firefox, these are all the items that start when the browser starts. So let's just take Firefox, for example. Download the mall extension. That's a nice extension. I would keep that. The Arc plugin, not so much. The Google update, that's uh, some Tencent and junk like that. Happy Cloud, stuff like that. On here, we just got a bunch of items that are starting. Do we necessarily need them? No. Are they there? Sure. Schedule tasks allow you to turn off scheduled tasks that are actually running on Windows, so I can tell it to disable any of the advanced system care updates. And the C Cleaner and Adobe Flash Player. The context menu is uh, items that basically when when I want to go on right click on something, it apparently has typically these options. Do I want 7-zip, IO bin uninstaller? Um, it really depends. For instance, if a directory, if it's in a directory item, I will get 7-zip, IO bin uninstaller, stuff like that. And depending on it, I can disable and enable which ones I actually want. Disk Analyzer allows you, to, allows you to see what categories of files are taking up space on your hard drive and allows you to find them quickly. Duplicate Finder allows you to find duplicate files on there and will tell you basically if you need them. We can do a quick scan, I suppose. It's going to probably gonna take longer than we would like. But it finds a ton of double files because I have two uh, Bitnami installations for WordPress, which is perfectly fine. But as you see, it goes through and it finds dual files. And it really depends on whether you should delete these or not. Typically, you don't want to delete them because even though they may be in they may have the same name they may actually be in different folders and if they're in different folders then they're necessary this is only good if you have like the same thing in the same folder and it's the same content for no real reason also look at the uh, creation date typically if the creation date is different and that's also a good indicator but if they were created at the exact same time and they're a duplicate of the exact same format like if I have two pictures of a cat on my computer what would be the purpose of having both those files the duplicate finder would help you find those but junk 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 I could go through and delete them but I don't really see the point of that system restore allows you to go back to a system restore point fairly easy manage you you can remove some if you do not want it and so on and so forth Drive wipe allows you to completely erase all the content on there. I can tell it to wipe only my free space, or I can tell it to wipe my entire drive where everything will be deleted. Free space is the free space on your hard drive where there's a pseudo, I like to think of them as pseudos, uh, zeros, which is it means that data can be stored there, but where previous data was. So for instance, if I delete something off my hard drive, it's not tip, it's not really gone. It's not taking up space in the computer, but it, it still retains the information until it's overridden. So you, a lot of the times people can go back and actually get the file because it's still technically there because it's still in what they're calling free space. That's freed space. You can put stuff there if you want, but the but it's still technically there until something goes over it. So you can tell this thing to go tell a CCleaner to run through and a simple overwrite puts they put blank files there so if I deleted one of those cat pictures early that I mentioned earlier and then I put a simple overwrite of one pass it'll put one file over all the free space and then delete that file typically they're empty and useless files so there's nothing to be retrieved out of them advanced overwrite is three passes it'll do the same process three seven and up to 35 times this allows you to 
completely wipe your drive and well not wipe your drive but have it to where your files are not recoverable typically if you're on a business computer you may want to use this maybe it's it doesn't really have much use because the only be the best way to ever delete a file is by taking a screwdriver through your hard drive so thank you very much for watching this is the new C cleaner it's very nice it's very elegant I don't like how it doesn't have all the like nice features it's not very feature packed but it gets the job done in a very clean user interface so make sure if you like the program check out periodform.com and let us know what you think thank you very much for watching and goodbye